hi everyone good morning and uh, this is our fourth, fifth video on rex programming and we'll continue with the basics and we'll see two topics here uh, one is operators another is a decision making statement okay let's start with operators there are uh, four kinds of operators we'll see one is a concatenation operators if you have two strings you know you want to concatenate and uh, with space and without space we'll see here I have given hello as a variable as a value of hover world with the value of you and um, I coded hello's double space world any number of space you add between if you go to variables like this you know a single space is added in between and you got the output like um, how are you and um, hello uh, double pipe symbol like this if you code the strings are attached without any space in between them so it will come like how are you there is no gap between r and u first string and second string here you can also do this way uh, within um, uh, brackets you put um, both the variables are string then also they will be concatenated without any uh, space in between them so generally uh, you know in practice in real time you know if you want to concatenate through two string without space we use this and uh, with space simply have a space in between the variables arithmetic operators more or less same with any other language plus minus star for multiplication and uh, division uh, rules also remain same from left to right um, uh, you know the priority will be plus and minus will be treated same and multiplication and division will be multi uh, you know treated same and any brackets is there that will have a high priority so in this case what happens is from left to right um, here you got first multiplication so it is 270 then it is division 270 by 1 is nothing but 270 and then this is uh, summed up 190 190 minus uh, 270 uh, which is 80 so i'm expecting result of 80 here and um, this percentage will give you you know uh, integer part of your division that is quotient and uh, double backslash will give you remainder so 10 uh, percentage 3 will give you you know 3 10 uh, double slash by 3 will give you remainder which is 1 and exponential operator is double star so 2 double star 3 is nothing but 2 into 2 into 2 which is 8 and then leading prefix also is allowed in um, rex you can any any uh, you know number you can immediately prefix with um, a sign of plus or minus in this case 10 minus minus 5 so minus and minus will become plus so it will become 15 along with that um, minus into plus this is uh, minus 5 15 minus 5 i'm expecting 10 here so these are the arithmetic operators um, so it's same like any other programming language so we don't have anything newly to learn here except the integer and the remainder next logical operators so logical operators um, usually will have and and or so this is our symbol this is unsymbol this is not symbol for not you can use um, this also like in db2 db2 queries and this is uh, xr symbol uh, I don't know if needed we can use XR also in Rex programming so that's it about logical operators um, uh, anyway just quickly walk through you know 10 equal to 10 or 10 equal to 9 so this 10 equal to 10 is true any one is true you will get the output so since it's R symbol so this is true so you will get um, uh, or when any is true this display will come 10 equal to 10 and 10 equal to 9 this is false this is true true and false result is false so you will not get this and 10 equal to 10 and xr 10 equal to 9 um, any one should be true for xr to given one so uh, here any is true will come because uh, this is true this is false now both are true that time you know xr will give you zero which will become uh, you know net false so you don't get this display out so I'm expecting you know uh, this and this display to appear in my output and 10 is not equal to 10 then say 10 is not 10 uh, anyway 10 equal 10 so we don't get a display out uh, here also so this is a not operator next compare operators so for y I'm giving you know value of uh, y for x also i am giving a y but with the suffix of space if i check y equal to x um, both are same so you'll get you know y is equal to x but this double equal saying that um, strictly equals if they are strictly equal they are not strictly equal because 
uh, here one space is additionally there whereas space is not there so this y is um, not strictly equal to x but it is equal to x uh, so this display i'm not expecting it to come so <clears throat> in this case i'll get this display y is not strictly equal to x this display i'll be getting and the strict operators is available for all operands we are going to see here greater than less than here also you can give strictly greater than strictly less than if i code you know two times that that will become a uh, greater greater symbol that is strictly greater similarly strictly lesser all strict operations are available in regs and um, this is simple okay uh, any other language greater than x if it is greater than x you will get this value if it is less than um, x is less than y you will get this dis this display and um, not greater than this is greater than this is not symbol so not greater than if x is not greater than y then you will get this display and we have something called nop maybe as a part of decision making we'll read this nop saying that like a continue in cobra it's um, you don't want to code anything in if path you want to code something in else path only then you can give nop statement so if x is equal to y in this case what is x x is 9 y is 99 they are not same so i am expecting this output um, to come so 9 is not equal to 99 is output x is greater than or equal to y then no operator x is what 9 9 is greater than or equal to 99 no false so i don't get any output here so that's it this is a simple um, compare with any other language it is same this topic so let's run it basic five i think yeah first i got um you know with the space then i'll get without space then the value is minus 80 and then i got three and one and i got eight i got a leading prefix i know the value is 10 two output and remaining things everything is as expected so we are done with the operators with this exercise Next, we will start with the decision making statement which is if in rights. The syntax is more or less same like any other language with uh, some differences. The first difference is uh, then in uh, RxF is mandatory. It's not an optional keyword. You have to code then otherwise uh, there will be an error which expects you to enter the then keyword. And then um, there is no, nothing like end if you uh, another one is if you write only one statement which is fine if you write more than one statement when a particular path is executed you need to blub it within do and do so this is uh, this is for blocking so uh, so you have to code you know more than one statement if you are coding this is um, must and uh, i advise you to do you know even for a single statement you code you know i suggest you to put within do and so that in future one person come and add another statement you know um, it would be easy otherwise you know the readability will be difficult so and nop we have already seen which is nothing but like continue in cobol on path you don't want to write any you don't want to do any action you can use you can use nop uh, this is nested uh, nested if same like um, any other language the condition is true no else um, if this is true this action else this action now let's quickly see what is the result um, expected out of this i'm setting a equal to 91 if a equal to 100 do this since it's 91 this path will not come we will get a display of good and then a is less than 35 no operation a is 91 here so this will not execute a is less than 50 no this will so this also won't come so you will get a congrats so i'm expecting output of good and congrats out of this let's see That's it. We are done with this um, if and nested if. We'll um, proceed with uh, select. Okay. This is a select statement sample. So when you want to, uh, you know, test um, multiple conditions, but only one condition um, you expect to be true, but you know, not true, then select is the um, best way to code it rather than nested if. So the syntax is, uh, you know. Um, 
it's more or like evaluate or um, you know switch case in other programming languages select when the condition if a condition is true this will happen and again if you are writing more than um, the two statements here you club it within do and same like if and this otherwise is when none of the condition is true the otherwise path will execute and you need to end with the end statement to end, uh, say that the ls select is done so in this case select um, a equal to 91 100 is not true so this will not execute a is greater than or equal to 80 less than or equal to 99 yes this path is true so you will get a nice score here nice score congrats is a display our expected out of this we'll execute and see it say you score centum super then expected so somewhere i missed then so then is mandatory everywhere okay Raining heavily outside. That is a disturbance. Okay, you got it now. That's it. We are done with uh, you know um, a decision making statements. If and if, um, if nested if and um, select. Thanks.